Hi, can you tell us who you are and where you work? Uh, so my name is Richard Davis. I work at the British Library within the digitisation programme. I help basically plan digitisation activity. Okay, what challenges should project managers be aware of when working on digitisation projects? Uh, so the kind of issues concerning planning digitisation projects are pretty much the same regardless of size of projects. So they're the same for small and large uh, scale digitisation in that how much planning can you do ahead of when you start the projects, right from considering uh, major issues like kind of copyright clearance uh, through to particular issues to do with the material themselves, such as conservation issues, whether the material uh, uh, is likely to be damaged by digitisation. So the kind of things that need to be uh, discussed and thought about at a very early stage are what we might call an end-to-end -end life cycle approach. So at the start of a project, what's uh, being selected, what's going to actually be digitised, um, through to towards the end of a project, how are we going to make it available, how is it going to be preserved in the long term, and kind of really essentially how is that going to be paid for in the long term, not just through the, 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 the project itself, but after the project ends, how are these costs going to be funded. Do you have any top tips for project management of a digitisation project? Yeah, it, it, the, the main one is about this life cycle uh, approach, this idea of looking at the end-to-end -end, uh, of a whole project and, and trying to estimate as best you can what the costs are of all those different activities. So it's about taking um, a, a kind of broad brush overview of these projects, thinking about what the long-term issues are, not just in the project itself, such as you know image standards and those sort of things, it's about um, the, the, the long term. In the long term, how are we going to make this stuff available? How is it going to be stored? Uh, how often do we need to change formats? Um, and that kind of approach will ensure that in the long term these digital resources will still be available uh, and not just uh, die out. Thank you very much, Richard.